Oh hey, campus security. Oh hi, this is Kyle. Um, I'm lost. I was wondering if you could help me out. What street I'm on? Um, no, I'm not on any streets. In fact, I'm not even outside. I'm in Swan Hall. Uh, no, this isn't a joke. Uh, I really... No, I'm... Dude, they hung up. Well, I've been trying to get out of Swan Hall for the past five hours now. I guess time goes by quickly when you're doing something anyone with half a brain would have been able to do by now. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make our five o'clock. Well, let's see. I have a... A lot of homework to do. Yeah, I do know it's a uh, Friday. No, I'm not saying that uh, work is more important than you. I'm saying that... <sighs> to anyone watching this who's thinking, I don't know how anyone could be such an idiot that they can't get out of Swan Hall, I wish I had the privilege of not knowing. I would like that privilege very much. You know what, forget it. You know, I should really find a way out of here because I really don't want to go crazy. Maybe it's okay if I go a little crazy, like have an imaginary friend, Tom. Hello there. Who said that? It's me, the ghost of William Faulkner. William Faulkner? Is that really you? It sure is. Ow. Why'd you do that? Uh, well, you made me read As I Lay Dying. I mean, you didn't really make me read it. That was my teacher, but then uh, I still had to read it, and for that I blame you. What's that? Ugh. Only 20% of my battery left. So William Faulkner, is the ghost of Mary Shelley here because I would like to write her a very strongly worded letter about how much I hated Frankenstein instead of punching her because she's a lady. I have no problem punching ladies. Well, we all know that, William Faulkner. <laughs> we all know that. Dear Lisa, I know that this may sound like a joke, but currently, I am lost in Swan Hall, and I don't know how to get out. And I just wanted to let you know that 
I really do care about you, and if you could also help me try and find my way out, that would be greatly appreciated from Kyle. I sure hope this counts as nourishment. It's dead. The battery's dead now. Hold on a second, I uh, thought I heard a noise. I'm gonna go investigate. Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I didn't actually hear a noise, it's just, you know how in those uh, found footage horror movies, uh, people are always like, oh, what's that noise? I'm gonna go investigate, and that they get eaten by a monster. <laughs> yeah, I thought it'd be fun if I made the viewer or who's ever watching this think that there was a monster roaming the halls of Swan Hall because that would be more entertaining than what I'm shooting right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what's funny? The lack of food or water really isn't a problem. I can get food and water, but the real problem is I don't have anyone to talk to. I mean, that's not actually the problem. It's that I don't have anyone to validate me, and now I'm making you, the camera, into something that can validate me. Uh, my head is, I don't know how I got such a screwed up head, or why I need that much validation. Anyway, I don't really know what to do with this epiphany, so I'm just gonna go back to bed, or to the best of my abilities because as you can see I can't really sleep here because it's really tiny let me just show you yeah I can't yeah don't you feel sorry for me who's ever watching me I like poor Kyle and thus validating me oh, that sweet validation anyways uh one day I'll have to deal with my emotional problems, but today is not that day. Okay, I'm gonna try and go to sleep now. Okay, good night. Hello, and welcome to the Cal McHugh Show. With us tonight is a very special guest, me from the future. Everyone say hello to me from the future. Hello, it's nice to be here today. So, future Kyle, what exactly happens to me in the future? Well, you get addicted to heroin and that pretty much fucks up your life. Well, that's a shame. But then you go to rehab and get help and mature as a person. Well, that's good. Thinking about how immature you are now makes me want to punch you. Please don't. Don't worry, I won't. The fact that you want to punch me clearly means that you haven't matured enough yet. Well, I say the fact that I'm being open about my desire to punch you signifies that I have matured. Yeah, well the fact that you did not take into account that I would feel threatened if you told me about your desire to punch me illustrates that you haven't matured enough yet. Good point. Yeah, I do seem to be more mature than you. You know, I could actually be you from the past. I'm not completely sure how time travel works. You know, there's a whole section of my life that I seem to have forgotten. It's probably because I do not want to remember how big an asshole I was when I was you. Forgetting your past discretions is not exactly a sign of maturity, though. Yeah, what's well, more mature than telling people you want to punch them? That's true. So past Kyle, 
How exactly did you travel to the future? You know what? I actually didn't travel through time. This entire segment has been filmed by me getting up, moving the camera over here, and then putting on my clothes so I can act like I've been doing something useful in this godforsaken hellhole. But no. Making this segment was a huge waste of time.
You know what? That video of me having a conversation with past me was not a waste of time. I'm sure someone out there will enjoy watching it once I get out of this place. So I'm going to make another even more complicated video right now. See? Pen to the paper. Let me brainstorm. Okay. okay, to make things easier, it should take place in one room. Okay. I need to play all the characters so it can't take itself too seriously. How about there's a bunch of science fiction stuff, but it only takes place in one room. Maybe like a parody of Terminator movies. See, I have my first page done. Look at it right here. I'm not sure about these glasses. Why am I so obsessed with time travel? You know what? That robot, robot, scientist part is the dumbest thing I have ever written. You know what? Look at this. No, I don't I need this. Those fools. They took away my self-aware robot before I could install a morality device. But it's only a matter of time before that robot starts making other robots to take over the world. Scientist Dave! What is it, regular Ryan? Your robot has started making other robots to take over the world. Damn it! I knew this would happen. Oh well, thankfully I installed this remote-controlled self-destruct device. There. Well, that takes care of that, unless the robot was able to null the self-destruct device. But, let's not dwell on that possibility. Okay, good. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to make more robots? No. I will never make another robot for as long as I live. But Dave, you can't stop building robots. You gotta get back on that horse. I mean, the last robot you built did almost cause the apocalypse. But you can't let that one little tiny setback stop you. Come on, Dave. Don't be a coward. Oh, I'm not retiring from building robots because I'm afraid I'll cause the apocalypse. I don't give a shit if my work kills everyone. I'm retiring because building robots is super boring. Okay then, that's a good reason. So what do you want to do now? You want to get drunk? Hell yeah! something different about this place. I don't notice any differences. That's because you're regular. Regular Ryan. Not special like me. Scientist Dave is correct. There is a difference. And that difference is that you are now 200 years in the future. Who are you? I am Freedom Fighter Fred. A freedom fighter who is named Fred. How did we get to the future? Because Scientist Dave isn't really a scientist. He's a robot scientist. Yeah, I know. He's a scientist that builds robots. No, he's a scientist who makes robots, but is actually a robot himself. Oh, so he's a robot scientist robot. Exactly. So he's a scientist that makes robots that are also robots. No, you fool. That makes no sense. No, it is you who are the fool for not properly explaining this. Look, Ryan, I'm a robot, robot scientist. Ah, so you're a robot that also makes robots. Exactly. So, Freedom Fighter Fred, is there a reason for why I'm in the future? You are in the future because you yourself were built in the future by you. Therefore, you are now going to build yourself so that you can continue to exist. Because you like existing, I guess. Also, you build a time machine inside you. But why didn't I build myself in the past? 
It's because you wanted to build yourself in a time where the government wouldn't take you away before you were installed with a morality device and could kill everyone. So wait, in this time period, the government isn't a suicidal toddler that's hellbent on injuring itself on everything in the park? Yes, and that's because there is no government. You see, the government finally found a way to choke itself on the monkey bars by taking an untested robot and making it in charge of making killer robots for the army. You came to the future to build yourself in an already apocalyptic setting because you can't cause the robot apocalypse after it's already happened. The robot apocalypse is also why I'm a freedom fighter, in case that wasn't clear. So wait, why haven't the robots destroyed my apartment? Because robots don't kill other robots. And how did you know that I would travel in time to today? I didn't. But you do get drunk and travel into the future a lot. So I figured I should just probably hang in this area, so that when you did travel into the future, I could be ready to ask you for your help in the robot wars. So, Scientist Dave, will you aid me in my fight against the robots? I would help, but that would detract from your moral victory. If you were to defeat the machines with the help of me, a machine, then you haven't won anything. But what about my freedom? Eh, freedom's overrated. Today I found out that I probably don't have any free will, and I'm doing fine. Fine. I guess I'll probably fight the robots by myself, and probably die. See ya. Have fun. So Ryan, you want to get drunk again? Hell yeah! I honestly thought making that would make me feel better. The only thing I've learned is that I need to double my efforts to get out of here. I can't survive in this place any longer. Well, here we go then. Oh my god! Uh, finally! <laughs> oh, hey Steve, uh, how are you doing? Oh hey Kyle, I'm pretty good, how are you? Oh god, I've, had, like, I've been like trapped in Swan Hall for the past 10 days, it's been really weird. Uh, okay, let me first up. Uh, Wait, what? Oh sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I've had a really weird couple of days. First I binge watched two seasons of Doctor Who, and then I had a fight with my girlfriend. We all got, we got worked out now, so. Okay, then. Let me tell you about my... Alright, I'll well, see ya. Wait, what? I said see ya. Oh, hey Kyle, I haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been? Didn't you get my message? I was lost in Swan Hall for the past 10 days. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I got that message. Wait, if you were gone for 10 days, wouldn't you have grown some facial hair by now? You would think so, but uh, I guess not. Anyway, are you cool with my absence and everything? Is everything cool? Uh, are we still together? Oh, I mean, yeah, everything's cool. I, I got a boyfriend, but you know, we're completely cool. Wait, what? Well, yeah, you weren't here and Steve was here, so I went out with him. Wait, Steve? Wait. So wait, you're saying all it takes to go out with you is presents? Yeah, pretty much. 
So you weren't with me because you liked me? You were with me just because I was there? Well, uh, you... Yeah, yeah, you were convenient, and then you were gone, so I went with Steve. So there was nothing special at all about me? Uh, no. No. Well, today is not my day. Yeah, um, well, see ya. Oh, we are not... No, we are not doing this again. I said see ya. Ugh. All right, so here's the old dormy again. You know, I'm pretty sure that the couch I slept on was softer than this. Uh, but at least this is bigger, right? All right then, I'm gonna go try and edit some of the video I shot because I have nothing better to do, okay? to make our five o'clock well let's see I have a lot of home it sure is You know what? I've realized you I don't need anyone or their validation. I had fun in Swan Hall. I had fun making Scientist Dave. But I don't need to film me making Scientist Dave anymore. I'm free now. Now it's right, it's right, but you ain't been right yet! Come on! Rat catching. Studies in rat catching for the use of schools. Chapter 1. In the following elementary treaties for the use of public schools, I propose following exactly the same plan as my parson. A good fellow, not afraid. Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. Yeah, hey Patrick, yo, what's up? No, yeah, um, no, I have a, I have a question. Um, I'm stuck in a hall. I was looking for my advisor. Um, yeah, yeah, Swan, I think. Yeah, anyways, um, I was, I was looking for him, and I can't seem to find my way around here. This place is like a fucking maze. Anyways, um, do you know uh, how to get out of here? No. Uh, all right, don't, don't even worry. I mean, it can't be that hard. It's just a freaking hall, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. No, yeah, no problem. Anyways, uh, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna be looking around here for a bit, find my way out, but uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. See you, man. <sighs> Can't be that fucking hard. Fucking finally, let's go. Uh, getting the hell out of this shit. Alright. Oh, thank God. What the fuck? Are you... Are you fucking kidding me, dude? It fucking says... What the... It fucking said exit right there. Are you... What the... Oh my god. Are, are you serious? Are you... Are you... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. What? Oh my god. There's no fucking way out of here. Ugh. Studies in rat catching for the use of schools. Chapter 1. 
What the hell? Hey, 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 uh, can you? No, 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 dude, 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 wait, 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 I need help, I need to get out of here. And food, I need food, I need to get out. Dude, fuck, dude. Are you serious? Oh my god. What the fuck? Alright, here we go. So, um, I have this camera, so I might as well document this. I've been in this place for hours now. I don't even know how long, and I am starving. I'm so hungry. I'm starving to death here. I mean, it'd be so depressing if that actually happened. <laughs> I just, I've tried all the exits, and exit signs just lead to more exit signs. And it doesn't make any sense. So it, wait, wait, wait. All right. I won't. I won't move. Do you, please. Do you, do you know how to get out? Or do you have anything? Just food. I'm so hungry, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Wait. Come back, please. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Thank you. Sometimes. I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. Oh my god. Uh, hello? Okay, uh, hello there. Uh, sorry for running away yesterday. I don't normally get too many people around here. Yeah. Um, what do you want? Uh, well, I was uh, wondering, uh, whether you were another uh, poor soul trapped in here. Yeah, I am. All right. Uh, I've been living here too for a while now. Wait, if you've been living here, wouldn't you have grown like a huge beard or something? You want some food? Uh, if you do, if you can follow me back to yeah. my base yes. of operations. Yes, please. So I've been uh, here working on my craft which is uh, filmmaking. Wait, isn't filmmaking supposed to be like a collaborative effort? I mean, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, my films uh, show off only singular vision. I think that's something that's pretty rare. Um, okay. Want a sandwich? Y yeah, please. Okay, you want to look at some of my work? Um, sure. Hey, past scientist Dave. Well, well, well. If it isn't my future self, how are you doing? Well, the future is all destroyed and boring and stuff because of the robot war, so I thought I just might crash with you. Well, it is rather rude for you to just crash here without giving me prior knowledge. Yeah, I do remember being irked at my future self when I was you. So, if I stopped the upcoming robot war, you wouldn't have to crash with me, right? You could, but I already tried that when I was you, and that didn't work out. Crap. Though it could have been because I got discouraged when my future self told me that he had failed when he was me. Hey, yo, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Just my future self is now crashing with me, so that way he can escape the monotony of his robot war-wrecked future. Oh cool, did my future self come too? Yeah, about that. About what? You didn't make it. Wait, I died? Afraid so. Well, I'm alive now. Isn't there a way I could be saved? Haven't you seen Doctor Who? If I save you because someone tells me you die in the future, and then I save you, so that way that person can't tell me you die in the future, then that creates a paradox. So now, regular Ryan, you have to die. So now, 
I have to go through life knowing that I'm gonna die? How am I gonna be able to live it to the fullest then? Well then you're gonna have a really rough 70 years ahead of you. Wait, I still lead a full life? Oh yeah, you died of natural causes way before the robot war. Well that's great then. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? You just asked why you weren't here and I gave you the answer. Well, I'm sorry for getting all worked up over nothing then. What do you all want to do? You want to get drunk? Hell yeah! Okay. Well, it's good, but it isn't living in a hall by yourself for the sake of filmmaking good. Uh, well, the people who uh, come out of this school aren't exactly studied for the past four years smart either. <laughs> Sometimes, I feel as though I may fade away. Then, I remember my work. All right, Kyle, how did you get this food? Oh, I uh, stole it from the marketplace. You, you mean you know how to get out of here? Oh, yeah. I go to the marketplace every week. Wait, why didn't you tell me this? I've been trying to get out of here for the past two days. Because you don't want to get out of here. What? I mean, you may think you want to get out of here, but you really don't. Th th why wouldn't I want to get the hell out of here? Hey, let me tell you something. Uh, one time I got lost here. I filmed every moment of it. And when I finally found a way out of here, no one gave a shit that I was gone. It was one of the most depressing experiences of my life. Yeah, but I have a life. And you know what? I need to get out of here. I mean, I got classes. Okay, um, were you really going to pay attention during those? <sighs> no. Okay, do you think your professors actually give a shit if you're there or not? No. Okay, then, uh, why don't you stay here for a bit? After a few days, you'll realize that being alone is the only truth, that every time you ever felt connected to someone was a lie. It'll be great. And that's supposed to be a positive thing, huh? Yes, and, uh, okay, here's some food, and now I'll leave you to it. I... I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. So I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm just stuck. Yeah, you know, I could move this chair. There you go. Moved a chair a bit. Nothing else to do. Just stuck here. I mean, I could eat. I'm really not that hungry, so I'd just be eating because I was bored. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Might as well save the food. Oh my god. Don't know why I still walk around here. Yeah, right. Oh, bookcase. Could read a book. Might as well just spend my time here reading now. Du Bois' personality and place in literature. But Du Bois Limited is an intellectual rather than a moral limitation. He's a man of thought rather than a man of... Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then... I remember my work. Alright, so how's your alone time been? Oh. Have you made any new discoveries about yourself? Oh, or? oh, it's been great. I've just been reading these books. So you're gonna let me out? Okay, first off, I was never keeping you in here. And uh, second off, maybe you need a bit more time. It took me a couple of days before I really understood. Wait, wait. There's someone, there's someone outside. Yeah, I just saw him. Um, is that, I think that's Patrick. Wait, let me see. Hey, Patrick! Patrick! Oh my God, come on, Patrick. You can't even hear me. Oh, what a shame. Wait, someone 
came to look for you? Yeah, I've been gone for five days. What do you expect? I mean, I have friends. All right, uh, let me think. Are you going to get me out? He's out there right now. Okay, me letting you out is a service, okay? I'm gonna want that service repaid, okay? I am not keeping you here because I am lonely and need companionship. I'm doing fine by myself. I just want to figure out how you can repay that service, okay? Okay, I never thought you were keeping me here for that reason, but whatever. I want to use your camera. What? No, no, no. I just want to make one video with it, okay? Then I will get you out of here, okay? One video. Yeah, one video. Okay, fine. Okay. Let me start writing the script for that now. Oh my god. Okay, all right, let me you know, let me know when it's done. <sighs> oh my god, Patrick. Come on. It's not that hard. Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. Still brainstorming? Uh-huh. So why do you have that camera anyway? I just like to film things, you know, capture the little moments, make sure they aren't lost. Hey, you need a camera that good to uh, capture your life, I mean. I got this uh, shitty camera, and uh, I think that would be good enough, really. I mean, my parents bought it for me, so I just use it as a pain to keep this thing in focus, though. Yeah. Have you tried uh, getting one of those uh, special uh, lenses? Or maybe just uh, put it in autofocus? Wait, wait, you can do that? Yeah, I think so. Just hand it over okay. for a second. Okay, I mean, just be careful what you do. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Woohoo, it's like a shitty 70s movie up in here. Who needs okay. a dolly when you got Zoom? Alright, dude, just put it into focus, alright? You're really starting to piss me okay, off here. Okay, man, just... okay, I'll do that, okay. Yeah, just stop Jeez. Okay, there, I got into autofocus, okay? Yeah, thanks. Have fun futilely trying to preserve your life, asshole. I will. Fucking dick. Sometimes, I feel as though I may fade away. Then, I remember my work. So, how is the script going? It's not. Why do you do this? I mean, you know, watch yourself in here. You don't seem to me to be like the workaholic type. Yeah, well, uh, looks can be deceiving. Y yeah, but like, like you really don't seem like it. Hey, look, okay, I'm a filmmaker who's chosen the path of solitude so that I can focus on my work, okay? That is my existence, okay? Y yeah, but okay. it... You're trying to redefine my existence, okay, right now. That's what you're doing, okay? W how would you like it if I tried that, okay? I wouldn't. Okay, well that's... Happy, what do you though? Uh, hi! I like to just film Oh things. my god. I don't care what okay. I'm filming. Cut it out, just dude. pointlessly film them. Because I have no creativity, right? Whatsoever. I have no intelligence, okay? And then I delusionally think that what I film is gonna be remembered when in all actuality it's gonna be forgotten. How would you like it if you were forgotten, huh? Yeah? You know what? I am gonna get forgotten. You know, that's what happens to people. They get forgotten, okay? There's no way around it, okay? So why don't you just uh, exit for a bit? Well, I do my work so I can get you out of here as soon as possible. Fine, fine. Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. So how's it coming? What do you think? Does anyone actually watch your stuff? I mean, I don't know, but I don't really care. It's not about, well, it's not as much about them watching it. It's more about just me having it, I guess. What about you? You know, I uh, tried making stuff that other people would like a long time ago. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a 
it's pretty degrading actually. It, I mean, what you're gonna make is gonna be partially based off your own experiences, except you can't actually uh, show your experiences completely. You have to change them so they're a little more entertaining for people. And then that kind of sucks because that means your experiences don't really matter that much because you have to change them. So that's the only way people will give a shit about them. And so, uh, I mean, I still do that now, but now that I'm the only one watching, it's like I'm not looking for their approval. It's only mine yeah. that I'm after. Well, do you think that they care enough about you to care about your experiences? I don't know. If so, take this. What's this? You'll see when you get out. You want to come? Where? Outside. You want to come outside? I mean, get out of here with me. Why? I don't know. I guess it'd be more fun than being in here. Out there, uh, people don't really care what you can do. They only care about who you are, and who I am is what I can do. And so I guess I'll stay here, try and redefine cinema as a completely singular experience. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. Right, hey. Oh, hey. I think I know where my writer's block is coming from. Yeah, where? Uh, you. I think I need to get you out of here. Wh why? I think I just need to be alone. Uh, when you want to be a writer, sometimes uh, they tell you to pick the worst survival job that you can think of, so that way uh, writing is the high point of your day. I think I need that. Okay. Um, can you get me out of here? Uh, can I do it tomorrow? Uh, I'm a little tired. <laughs> you know, when you get out of here, you're going to have a bright future. I, you get your friends back, and then uh, maybe you'll learn to uh, appreciate your classes after this. All right, yeah. Uh, it's not that great. I mean, it'll be good on the whole. There'll be those uh, bad days, but it's only when it's all bad that those bad days affect you. Yeah, whatever. I mean... What the hell? Hey, uh, you want to switch cameras? What? Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about it, and I think you're right, that yours would be better for the capturing everyday moment experience, and... Mine really is designed for the cinemagraphic artiste, and I guess it would be better. Sure about this? Yeah. Fuck it. Here. Maybe. No oh, shit. Uh, I think we really should switch SD cards, though. I don't oh, want yeah, to. Oh yeah, sure, I have. certainly. Uh, just, so, just just turn it off. Yeah. Oh nice. So you good? Yeah. Good. Thanks. Alright. Sometimes I feel as though I may fade away. Then I remember my work. That's pretty confusing. I mean, I'm not surprised with this goddamn place. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be the star. Yeah. Yeah, when I first figured out how to get out of here, I couldn't wait to get back in. It was miserable. Well, see if I feel the same. Thanks. Hey, um... Every watch is completely different. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, hey. Oh, hey man, what's up? How's it going? Um, I've actually been, uh, stuck at Swan Hall for the last ten days. Oh, damn. Wait, didn't that happen to the other 
the last guy dated? Did it? Oh, yeah, it totally did. Whatever happened to him? Crazy. You know, I, I think he's actually still in there and getting really depressed. Oh, shit. Hey, you know, it's really sad and depressing. What? Doctor Who is what I'm talking about. I mean, he had to, like, save his partner by erasing her memory because she had all his powers. And then, but then, because she was going to die, right? But then he had to erase his, her memory. So now he's all sad and alone and alone, man. It's terrible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Man, all this talk of past relationships has made me really think about ours. Wait, okay. I just think it might be good for us to switch partners for a little bit. Is this about my personality? No, 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 not at all. It's just, I think it just might be time for this relationship to expire. Eh, dating the same person can be kind of boring. Yeah. 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 Alright, well, I guess that's, that's that. You two are terrible people. Oh, hey. Yeah, I did. I was trying to get you out for ages. I figured if you got lost in there and I went in, I would definitely get lost and, like, never find you. So I actually told campus security about it because I figured they'd have, they'd know something. They're like, ha, it's already tried to joke. It's already that joke on us already. Really? Yeah. The important thing is you're out now, I guess. So what you doing there? Well, I actually met this weird guy named Kyle. Huh. Yeah. Uh, well, he was the only person that eventually showed me the way out. What, so does he live there? Well, all right, so he's this weird filmmaker dude that's purposely trapped himself in there just so he can make more films. The lack of food or what? Oh, well, thankfully, I installed this remote control self destruct device. You quit me just because I was there? Well, uh, you. Yeah, yeah, you were convenient and then you were gone, so. <laughs> to do is draw out my revolver and pop him over, as Hubert calls it. How he jumped when the bullet struck him, poor fella. I don't know about his being so poor, everybody says poor Adri. Mr. Long continues, he does not suffer.
Hey, yo. How's it going? Oh, nothing much. Just the men's rights activists causing problems on the internet again. Yeah. What is up with those guys? Haven't you heard? Heard what? Well, the word on the street is that there isn't actually any men's rights activists, that they were a group made up solely by feminists in order to create such a vile opposition to themselves that no one would go against them for fear of being labeled men's rights activists. Regular Ryan. Yeah? Do you realize that that is the most men's rights activist-y thing that I have ever heard? But, at the same time, it denies the existence of men's rights activists. Yeah, which makes that asinine conspiracy theory the most contradictory, paradoxical thing that I have ever heard. It angers me, yet it also fascinates me. Would a men's rights activist write this? In the past, we turned to the scientists for answers. We decided that the scientists would be the one to guide us out of the light. And guide us out of the light he did. He showed us such amazing things and gave us such wonderful tools. Life became easier and we let our worries fly into the wind. Life was good. Then, we turned our back on the scientist. Some of his creations were misused by people to create pain rather than joy. Furthermore, some of his teachings became too complex and created another form of darkness for us. Instead of trying to illuminate this darkness for ourselves, we abandoned him there to attempt to share his teachings to an apathetic world. We turned to the social scientists and listened to what they had to say. They created a much simpler way to look at the world, one based off a person's background. Thus, we began to look backward rather than forward. And through our retrospection, we decided that the white male is a creature born out of entitlement. The white male was promised everything, a good job, a girlfriend, and satisfaction. When this did not materialize, he became angry, and when he became angry, he caused problems. And so the social scientist was praised for simply stating that the white male is not entitled again to a woman's pants. That apparently became an achievement worth applauding. So in the next coming days, I will give you this gift. I, a white male, will show you something that cannot fit inside that box. There will be no one believing that I did what I'll do because I was angry that I wasn't getting laid. When you turn to the social scientists for direction, they will be nonplussed as to what to do. Your current leader will fault you for entitlement is not my motivation. My intent is simply one of generosity. I will show you something that will cause you to wonder. I will show you the power of science. Well, it does seem like something a men's rights activist would write, but at the same time, it feels like there were a couple tweaks made here and there to distinguish itself. Alright, and? I believe that you may be what comes next after the men's rights activist movement, like the next evolution. I am at once fascinated and terrified over what you will do. You should be. He does some unearthly shit in the future. All right! Well, we never did figure out whether feminists were behind the men's rights activist movement. However, I like to think that that is more likely than the fact that there are those out there who will deny the issues that women are facing today. Yeah, there really are men's rights activists. Crap. Cool! You all want to get drunk? Nah. Oh, man. Though you are right about one thing. No one listens to us. Yeah. Does not suffer very much. He can't run and run. Yeah? Okay. Dude, why aren't you in class? You hung over or something? Oh, no. Um, I was just, uh... I was just watching the videos that Kyle left behind on his computer. Why? I mean, now that he's dead, it's, it's all that's left of him. Well, and his body. Yeah, but, I mean, this is really, like, the physical stuff that we have that he left behind, so... Yeah. I was just going through it to see how it is. And how is it? Uh, it's... It's kinda good, I guess. I, I don't know, I just wish it was a little better.
Why? Well, I mean, his death might be a little bit more tragic. Because right now it's like no one really cares and nothing's really happened because he didn't leave anything meaningful behind. But if it had been a little bit more important, a little bit more, you know, maybe people would have cared. Uh, see, I feel like anybody's death is tragic. Well, yeah. All right, but like thousands of people die any day and we don't care about them at all, right? Well, kind of. I mean, if someone brings up that however many people die of heart disease in like a year, I feel bad. Yeah, you know, I, I guess you're right. Let's see what this one is. But you know, I feel like that does make sense because whenever actors die, like Robin Williams, people get upset. And they're like, oh man. But they didn't know about yeah. Williams. Yeah. I don't know. Here, just like check this out. Hello again. You know, I never wanted to make another one of these videos. I guess I lost because I really need to. I was supposed to be a filmmaker. Now I'm just talking to a camera. Like anyone with a webcam can do. I locked myself in here just to make videos, and I've been doing that. And nothing's happened. No one to watch them but me. Yeah, you've always been here for me. You're the only one who has. I mean, I got you upgraded. <sighs> when that guy came around here. But he left. I still got a camera. Even with an upgrade, you're still the same. I guess I'm still the same too. <laughs> you know what they say about uh, looking into a mirror, right? <laughs> All you're gonna see is yourself. And that's all I've seen. God, what a way to waste a life. If he only knew it, but he doesn't. Hey, how's your uh, journey through seeing Al Kyle's video entries going? All right, yeah, uh, they actually just mailed my camera back to me. And, um, oh, shit. Yeah, I guess that they found it on his body and they saw uh, my address on it that I have on the bottom. And, um, That's cool. Yeah, they decided to, you know, I don't know, but here it is. Oh. But, so was there anything on it? Yeah, that's why I was just going. So, um, yeah, I... Here, I was going through it, and um, there's a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but, you know, there's a couple of videos from when, I guess, he was stuck in that elevator, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I've just been going through them, watching them. Okay. It's not, I mean... Are you going to show them to the police? I, no, no. Here, let me see. Right here. It's just like, I feel like I'm obliged to watch these because of, I don't know, I guess what he means and what he doesn't mean to anybody else. Come on. Come on. Uh, fuck. Fuck, come on. Come on. Tried all these fucking buttons. Like, it doesn't work, okay? Wanna try it again? You want me to try again? Okay. Scene. Ah, fuck. Nothing happened. Fuck. Fuck. The way out at all. Fuck. Maybe up here. I can't fucking get it. Fuck. All right. Just to get things clear, I get to record this. Okay. This is my fucking death. Okay. I get to record it, okay? Because I'm fucking going to die, okay? Give me that at least, okay? <sighs> Fairy people we pity most. Lunatic.
Idiots. Idiots. Hey, look! The steel? It's kind of like a mirror. <laughs> oh, great irony here. Hey, look! At the steel, huh? If you look closely enough, it's, uh, giving me my outline. It's as good a mirror as any. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Gonna die. With all I've ever really needed. You know, I once wondered why I was obsessed with time travel. With all that scientist Dave, uh, time traveling bullshit. Think. Like, time travel. Well, it's one way to travel. You're moving someplace without actually moving anywhere, I think. That's all I've ever wanted. Was to go forward without leaving anything behind. But like time travel, that appears to be impossible. Way to learn a fucking lesson, am I right? <sighs> People in the last stages of sickness are not half as miserable as we make them out. Yeah, you, still, you still going through uh, those videos? Yeah. You can stop if you want to. Yeah, well, I don't want to. Alright, well, good luck. Is that what I see there? Is it? Yeah, it's some stubble, all right. Uh, finally, just finally grows out here. <sighs> nice way to bookend all of this. <sighs> okay, how am I gonna be okay with dying in an elevator? I'm up. Okay. How am I gonna be okay with dying in an elevator? God, I'm so thirsty. So hungry. I don't know. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter if I'm okay with it. It's gonna happen any other way. No. I've been cool if all this footage had mattered. I guess it won't though. I mean, who gets remembered anyways? Like, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, maybe a few uh, Roman emperors, I don't know. Yeah, the people I know of who lived like 500 years ago. I don't really care. They didn't affect me. And I guess I won't be affecting anybody else. In a way, be connected to everyone. I'll go through something that everyone will go through. Alright. Alright. 
I'm gonna let this one play me out. Alright, time to play myself out. Actually, I did. I did have one idea. What? Well, I was thinking that I could, um, I could put together all the footage that he had lying around, and I don't know, make it into like a movie. Oh, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, because you know what I figured was there was enough that he left over for me, and then enough that that uh, I have on his on his computer from before that um, I could probably string it together into something at least half decent. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's just, he, he started to grow on me in a weird way. It was, the, the problem was, it, it was the things that he said outside of his work and his filming that really resonate with me. Huh. So, like, if Marilyn well, Monroe said all the things that are actually attributed to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like that. And um, that's why I just want to make a sort of preservation of his memory and what he left behind. Didn't you say that... It's not very good. Yeah, but going back through it, I can at least string it together into something that will be half decent for people to watch. But it'll be just a shittier version of Into the Wild. It's like, well, why, would, why would someone want to watch this when they can just watch that Sean Penn movie? I mean, everything's been done like three times over. I mean, and, and, and that's not the point. You know, the point is that this is a real guy and this isn't some actor playing him. This is this is his life and his story. I mean I mean here look, watch, watch this. Yeah. So this is one of the things that he I found on the computer. It's kind of, you know, the beginning. But, but just the, the rest of it. Okay, campus security. Oh hi, this is Kyle. Wait, stop it here. What? The text is edited like it's in third person. Yeah, and? Well, Kyle gave it to you as is edited here, but it seems like someone else edited it. Okay, yeah. What? I think it's because Kyle wanted it to seem like someone cared enough to edit his footage. Hmm, I wonder why. I don't know, maybe he's lonely. But... Like, the, all right, it, it wouldn't matter if Kyle was the only person who was going to see this, so uh, th therefore he must have wanted somebody else to see it. Oh, I guess. We say how I'd hate it if it was I, but it isn't I. Dude, guess what? What? They renamed the Swan Hawks. Swan Hawks. Yeah? What are they naming it to this thing? Burkus Hall. They're naming it to Burkus Hall. Yeah. Don't they already have a, a Burkus Hall already and a Burkus House? Yeah, I mean, I guess Daniel Burkus really likes donating money to the school. I mean, why why wouldn't they name it after the kid who died there, you know? I, I don't know. I feel like Daniel Burkus doesn't have a good say over which building they name after him. Probably hits like a threshold. They're like, "Oh, new building, new building, new building." And also, if they rename Swan Hall to Burkus Hall, if people look up death in Swan Hall, Swan Hall isn't on Occidental's campus anymore. It's just Burkus. Yeah, all right. I mean, it makes sense, but yeah. 
Just uh, ch check out what I have so far. I've been putting this stuff together. Tell me what you think of this. Here we go. Rat catching. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, you know how you said well, you for uh, Kyle's musings on life in person over his actual work? Yeah. Well, I think his life has worked better. Really? I, what about his videos? I, I mean, what about the one where he's talking about how he's obsessed with time travel? What about that one? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's alright, but I think his work, like, uh, have you seen Scientist Day? It's really funny. The rest is all depressing. Here, let me show you uh, one of the Steve videos that I saw. Alright, alright. And remember, all you gotta do is like yourself. If someone else says that you're a bad person, just ignore them. All that counts is that you like yourself. Everything else will work itself out. Someone brings up a bad example of something you did? Doesn't matter. Uh, all right, wait, so you actually like Steve's videos more? Well, they're enjoyable and life-affirming. Yeah, but he's a dick. So, I mean, I still like them. They're comforting. <sighs> it's they, they, themselves don't suffer half what we think. All right, so I, I changed um, Kyle's death sequence. All right, just tell me if he's like it like this. All right, so what do you think about it? You know, I don't think this is what Kyle would want. W what do you mean? I mean, he seemed to be accepting in the end. Yeah, but what about that whole text he wrote about himself during day five? This is fairly similar to that, right? Yeah, but I think there was some growth that occurred, and that Kyle in the elevator is different than he is in the bathroom. Yeah, but I, I, I think the point to all of this is that what, what happens to you when you cast somebody out? I disagree. I feel some people are dicks to him, but no one cast him out. I guess. Hey, Lisa, I, I know we don't talk that much, but there's something I need to ask you. What is it? What are you looking for in human interaction? Well, studies show that people interact with each other so that somebody will report their legacy. So people will have something to remember them by. In that case, here. Now you'll never have to interact with anyone. Just so... about dying. Hey, how's the work going? Uh, it's going good. I've just been working on the poster for the film right now. Oh, and the editing? Um, it's going okay. I, it, I mean, I should be finished by tomorrow. Well, hey, so why is the video that uh, Kyle shot in Swan Hall with your camera is less yellow? Um, I don't know. I guess he figured out color correction. Cool. <sighs> hey, Patrick. Yeah? I gotta ask you, um, do you think that human connection is just based off of the desire to be remembered? Uh, the, the only reason we talk to each other is because we want someone to remember what we said when we were here? I don't know. Why? Uh, well, it would be depressing if that were the case. I, I mean, it would be futile, really, because the people who we talk to, are they're just gonna die also. Maybe we just talk to each other in order to find someone who agrees with us so that we don't feel so alone. Yeah, that's probably it. So, uh, you feeling good about this film? I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to feel like the real reason I'm doing this isn't because I want to preserve Kyle, but because if, if Kyle could be remembered, then, then I could be remembered. Yeah. Well, everything turns to dust, you know, as they say. I, I, I know, but, but it sucks that I'm only focusing on myself instead of Kyle. Yeah, well, you know, we're always looking out for ourselves in the end, aren't we? Yeah. So, I always wondered, why exactly was Kyle listening to the music of Crispin Glover? I don't know, maybe he just liked it.
It hurts us for to see him die Than it does him to do it Okay, so you ready to watch it? Yeah. Alright. much about them watching it, it's more about just me having it, I guess. It's one way to travel. You're moving someplace without actually moving anywhere, I think. That's not how the film ends, is it? No, it isn't. All I had to do was draw out my revolver and pop him over, as Hubert calls it. How he jumped when the bullet struck him. Poor fella. I don't know about his being so poor. Everybody says poor Adri. Mr. Long continues. He does not suffer very much he can't run and ride and hunt like a man and he's more dependent on the family than a man would like if he only knew it but he doesn't the very people we pity most lunatics idiots people in the last stages of sickness are not half as